Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This is a general reading for the collective. Um, guys, if you're looking for my information to book a personal reading or you're looking for the extended, you'll find them in the description box below the video. Also, if you want to become a channel member, um, the link is in the description box as well. You get exclusive membership, uh, exclusive members only content, but you also get access to all of the extendeds at one low price. So check that out guys. Um, also that information, if you want to read about it is on the community page, check that out. We have, uh, we have released our tarot deck. Our tarot deck, Magical Fantasy Tarot by Quartz Rose Tarot. If you're interested in getting a copy, head over to our website at quartzrosetarot.com before while supplies last. Um, guys, I am giving away decks. I'm going to give away a deck in July. I'm going to give maybe two decks away in August, but I am also giving away three, three question readings. So if you're interested in getting a reading or a tarot deck, please make sure you're subscribed. Um, and hashtag um, both or deck or reading. Um, so let's get into this, guys. This is a general reading for the collective. And I am using our deck so you can see what it looks like. Okay. What do we got? What do we got for the collective? Here we go. Tell me about what's the energy for the collective, please. What do we got? Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to leave it right there because those three flew out. Okay. So use your intuition. This may be because you're walking away from something or ending something or separating from somebody. Um, you think it's over. Use your intuition because there may have been some trickery. What? So if you think that if you're going through a breakup, guys, um, it may be because of an illusion. Somebody may be doing nonsense. So let's get into this. What do we got? All 12 signs. All 12 signs starting with Aries. If you are dealing with an Aries, they're wishing to rush towards you. If you're dealing with a Taurus, they're mastering their emotions, but they're not talking about it. They're keeping to themselves. They're just trying to master their emotions. If you're dealing with a Gemini, Gemini is taking control. They're the emperor. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they're seeing a new beginning in love. Somebody's watching you have a new beginning. If you're dealing with a Leo, they're obsessed with taking a leap of faith. So jumping in with both feet, possibly. If you're dealing with a Virgo, the harsh truth is they're heartbroken. If you're dealing with a Libra, I feel like they're working on a new beginning. You know, they've got all their pinnacles, all their ducks in a row when it comes to Libra. Tell me about Scorpio, please. Scorpio, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, they're trapped in their head about something somebody said. So emotional communication and being trapped in their head about it. If you're dealing with a Sag, they're, they're, taking, they're taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture before they move forward. It's always good to reevaluate before you move on, right? Trying to see, especially, especially when this is about using your intuition about a breakup because of an illusion. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're back and forth about their judgment about something. They're back and forth about their judgment. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Somebody feels betrayed by something in an argument, betrayed by an argument. So if there's an argument, somebody felt betrayed. Maybe that's what the argument's about. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody's jealous of a partnership or jealous of a relationship. 
Let's get it popping and see what's up. Okay. What do we need to know? What do we need to know here about this? Use your intuition about this breakup. There's an illusion. So use your intuition. What's like what you don't realize? It's like there's something you're not seeing. Take off the rose colored glasses. There's something you're not seeing here. What do we need to know? In the past, guys, in the past, looking at something from a different perspective, but being at a crossroads. Somebody here is being strategic. They're not showing emotion in divine timing. This could be a third party attacking somebody. The harsh truth is causing somebody to be unhappy. This is a harsh truth making somebody unhappy. It could be, um, this could be a third party. This could be, you could be trying to reconcile the harsh truth and you're unhappy. You're looking at things from a different perspective, but you're at a crossroads. You're in that queen of swords mode. You're in the queen of swords mode because don't come at me. If you don't come at me correct, you're going to be sorry, right? In divine timing, you might be reconciling the harsh truth. Why, why you're unhappy about something. Um, so this could be whoever this is they're using. This is you using your intuition. You're in queen of swords mode. You're trying to, you're trying to understand something. You're mastering your emotions about why somebody walked away and stopped talking to you. Okay. So you're really trying to figure this out in the past. Why did they leave? Why are they not speaking to me? What, what's really going on here? This is why they're saying use your intuition about this breakup. There could be, you know, trickery at foot uh, at at foot, a foot, a foot. What's happening right now? What's in the here and now? Feeling betrayed and backstabbed by somebody in the past. I feel like Okay. So you may have felt betrayed in the past or betrayed by a past person, but I feel like there is, there is a passionate communication coming in. I don't feel like this is an argument. I feel like this is passionate communication to heal a situation. Somebody is rushing in. Um, they may have some regret. They're obsessed with a relationship moving past, moving forward from the burden. So this is like, like you're like breaking a spell somehow. I feel like in this case, using your intuition about this breakup, knowing that there's an illusion here, like something is, is, is hidden, like, right. The harsh truth of a broken heart. If someone's very guarded, be queen of swords because of an illusion. So, I literally is saying that this person's coming back towards you saying, let's get past the drama obsessed with moving past the drama, you know, with this chariot, this is, you know, headed for battle, right? You could be headed for battle. This is making the right choice to move forward to success, right? So being able to make that right choice, obsessed with making that right choice where this relationship is concerned to get past the burdens. This is about, um, 
really seeing things for what they are, like understanding it from a different perspective, because this is that you may have been brokenhearted because of something somebody else is doing to you, right? This could be a karmic. Tell me about, tell me about the near future, please. Tell me about the near future. You have Okay. I'm going to take that. So Whatever the harsh truth was in the situation, I feel like this harsh truth here with that Knight of Swords is the breakup. Um, I feel like this is the breakup here. And I feel like you're deciding to go from rough waters to calm waters. You're moving forward. So maybe they wanted you to move on, right? They wanted you to move on. This may have been a choice, right? The choice to move on. That's what they wanted. But I feel like in this case, you're trying to go from rough waters to calm waters and you're making a decision to com emotionally communicate. You're closing out a cycle been a long time coming and you're rebuilding you are speaking your truth passionately about healing i feel like you are being strategic now not you know this is plotting and planning you know when the, the king of swords expects to win right they this person this person will think it and they will find your weakness and use your weakness against you, right? So this King of Swords wants to win, but they're trying to recover. This is like them healing. This is them taking a step back to recover something. Um, they're very trapped in their head because they want to offer that cup. They want to offer that cup to someone from the past to have something long-term and committed. This is a person that wants to come towards you. You're coming in as the queen of swords. They're coming in as the king of swords. You both are in that cold energy, but you're both having the same, the same mindset here. I feel like you both want to get past um, whatever the problem was to fix it, right? Because this person definitely wants to be with you in something long-term and committed. So you're going to end up in the right place, but you have to use your int intuition about this breakup because of whatever was happening. It's really not even talking about the person who did the nonsense. It's just saying that there is nonsense. So guys, I am going to take this into the extended and I'm going to get you some more clarity about the person who's acting, acting a fool, acting a fool. So if that resonates with you, uh, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I